Math Success Book 5. Now today we are going to read chapter number 2. It's about finding HCF of two numbers up to two digit numbers. Finding HCF of three numbers up to two digit numbers using prime factorization method and division method. LCM find LCM of two numbers up to two digit numbers find LCM of three digit numbers up to two digit numbers using prime factorization method and division method solve real life situation involving HCF and LCM factors and multiples let's reinforce what is a factor a factor is a number that divides another number, leaving no remainder. In other words, if multiplying two whole numbers give us a product, then the numbers we are multiplying are factors of the product because they are divisible by the product. Let's find out the factors of 12. To begin with, let's find out the pairs of numbers that give 12. Now. What are the numbers? What are the pairs of numbers that give us 12? 1 into 12 is 12. 2 into 6 is equals to 12. 3 into 4 is equals to 12. We get 3 pairs of numbers that give us the product 12. No other pair of numbers when multiplied will give product of 12. Now let's take each number pair separately and understand what does it mean. Let's take the first pair. 1 into 12 is equals to 12. Here, if we divide 12 with 1, the quotient is 12 and the remainder is 0. And if we divide 12 with 12, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 0. In both the cases, the remainder is 0. This means 12 is divisible by 1 and 2. 12. Pair 2, 2 into 6 is equals to 12. When we divide 12 by 2, we get the quotient as 6. And if we divide 6 by 12, we get the quotient 2. In both the cases, the remainder is 0. Thus, it means that 12 is divisible by 6 and 2. Coming to pair 3, 3 into 4 is equals to 12. Here, if we divide 12 by 3, we get 4 as a quotient. And similarly, if we divide 12 by 4, we get quotient as 3. Here also we get the remainder as 0. It means 12 is divisible by 3 and 4. Thus, we now understand that 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Hence, we say that the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are the factors of 12. We can define it as factor is a number which exactly divides the given number. Or we can say that factors are numbers you can multiply to get the given number. Points to understand and remember. 1 is a factor of every number. For example, 1 multiplied by any number is equals to number itself. Any number divided by 1 is equals to number itself. Hence, we conclude 1 is a factor of every number. Point number 2. Every number is a factor of itself. We know that 6 into 1 is equals to 6. Thus, any number into 1 is equals to number itself. 8 divided by 8 is equals to 1. Any number divided itself is equals to 1. The factor of a number is always less than or equal to the number. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. 1 is less than 12. 2 is less than 12, 3 is less than 12, 4 is less than 12, 6 less than 12, 12 
is equal to 12. Every number except 1 has at least two factors, one in the number itself. Taking an example of 7, factors of 7 are 1 and 7. So, every number except 1 has at least two factors, 1 and the number itself. What are multiples? The meaning of a multiple is the product result of one number multiplied by another number. Here, 56 is a multiple of the integer 7. Do you remember multiplication tables? Yes, we will be using them to find multiples. Here is another example of multiples. 4 into 1 is 4. 4 2's are 8, 4 3's are 12, so 4, 8, 12 are the multiples of 4. 0 is a multiple of every number as the product of 0 multiplied by any number is 0. Write the first two common multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. In both the cases, 20 is common and then 40 is common. So 20 and 40 are the first two common multiples. Now coming to exercise 2a, fill in the blanks. 3 into 8 is equal to 24. So 3 and 8 are the factors of 24. 9 into 11 is equal to 99. So 9 and 11 are the factors of 99. 7 into 19 is equal to 133. So 7 and 19 are the factors of 133. 6 into 15 is equal to 90. So 6 and 15 are the factors of 90. Question number 2. Say yes or no. 12 is a factor of 108. Now just see, 12 is divisible to 108. And if we divide it to 108, do we get 0 as a remainder? 12 nines are 108. So it is correct. 36 is a factor of 18. Now start counting 18 times table. 18 ones are 18. 18 twos are 36. 15 is a factor of 165. Now do the rest of the sums yourself. Answer the following questions. Write the first four multiples of 9. For writing first four multiples of 9, you just start counting 9 times table till 4. 9 ones are 9. 9 twos are 18. 9 threes are 27. 9 fours are 36. So 9, 18, 27 and 36 are the first four multiples of 9. Write the first three multiples of 21. Now you just multiply 1 with 21, 2 with 21, 3 with 21 and you are going to get the answer. Write all the multiples of 8 lying between 50 and 90. Now you try your hands on this question yourself. Write the common factors of 15 and 27. Factors of 15, 1, 3, 5, 15. Factors of 27, 1, 3, 7, 9. Now which are the common factors in 15 and 27? 1 and 3 are the common factors of 15 and 27. This is how you are going to do the rest of the questions. Write the first two common multiples of 4 and 10. Start writing the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Now start writing multiples of 10. 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
Now see the common multiples. First one is 20. 4 5s are 20 and here 10 2s are 20. So circle these two numbers. Then look at the other numbers. Yes, 40 is the multiple of 4 and 40 is also the multiple of 10. So circle these two numbers. 20 and 40 are the first two common multiples.